how we view things is how we do things. We all know that. Me, of course, also. How I view things is how I do things. I got a new view, clear new view during this corona crisis. And actually, it's the upside of all these terrible things that are happening. People ill, people dying, economy going down. But there's also upsides we can look at. And you know, in these videos, I sort of look at that. My new view comes from this. I used to hear and think, eat less, move more, and you're in better physical, physical shape. And I was a long time too heavy. I lost nine kilos the last about two months, so a kilo a week. And totally effortlessly. And thanks to the impulse of my children, my big buddy Jan Willem, and of course at home Ingeborg. And what, what is this? What is this thing? So I had a choice at the beginning of this corona crisis, eh, in our lockdown light, our intelligent lockdown. Either, well, move into emo eating that I know before, as before, and have a tendency to eat more and eat the wrong things. Or this is the chance, no social arrangement, easy not to go out, and why don't you focus on that? And then I was helped to look at calories. So you can say, well, what's new? Well, I'm counting calories now with the, the eat meter, as it's called in Holland. And it's amazing, I don't eat less at all. I eat the same amount and sometimes even a little bit more, but I'm very careful what I eat. Of course, I watch the, the fats and the, the carbohydrates and the sugar, but actually it's amazing and it's fun. And to me, that's totally new. And the moving, the moving of course is an important thing. You know, they say move 10,000 steps a day. That's what I do every day. And if it's lousy weather outside, I learn from a very good friend of mine. She lives in Israel part of the time and part of the time in, in Holland. And she had to go back to Israel to do some work. And when she got there, all of a sudden, there's this two week guarantee, uh, guarantee sorry, quarantine program to guarantee you staying good health and the people around you. So she did that in a relatively small area. And she walked every day 10,000 feet. She called a lot of people, as we all do, and constantly she's walking, 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 walking 10,000 feet. So there's no excuses not to do it. Now, so that's a major insight for me. I talk to a lot of people right now and they're gaining weight and I'm maybe a little proud of myself, but that's not the point here. I like it that I came to the new view, that is what I can do. So I used to also have the view, it takes short-term pain to maybe have long-term pleasure. And being 69 now, I don't know if I want to take that risk. So I'd rather have short-term pleasure and maybe that's long-term pain. That's how I used to, uh, to look. Now, I found a new balance, I think. We have to see in the long run, but anyway, I wanted to share that with you. And this goes for everything. How you view things is how you do things. So if you constantly view at the, the, the problems and the, the ugly news, and it's there, I know, but it's also beautiful news. So it's a choice we can make every day. The choice is what you think, and the choice is what we do. So how we view things is how we do things. Good luck with that. Stay safe, stay healthy, be blessed. Ciao.